Lecture for series and parallel circuits problem set number one and example 10.2 on page 442. So the equivalent resistance current and power in a series circuit. A battery with a terminal voltage of 9V is connected to a circuit consisting of 4, 29, and 1, 10 resistors all in series in figure 10.13 assume the battery has negligible internal resistance so a calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit and for the b calculate the current through each resistor and c calculate the potential drop across each resistor then for the letter b determine the total power dissipated by the reason resistors and the power supplied by the battery so in the a calculate the equivalent resistance is the algebraic sum of the resistance which is the Rix equals to R1 plus R2 plus the R3 plus R4 and the plus R5 is equals to 20 resistors plus 20 resistor of plus 20 resistor plus 20 plus 20 plus is equals to 90. So the current the, through the circuit is the same for the each resistor in a series circuit so it equal to the applied voltage which is divided by the equivalent resistance so i is equals to v over r equals to then 9v over 90 resistors equals to 0 0.1 a so the power dissipated by a resistor is equals to P P1 is equals to P2 and P3 is equals to P4 and equals of 0 0.1 A squared times 20 resistor is equals to 0 0.2 watts then for the P5 is equals to 0 0.1 A squared then T is equals to 0 0.1 watts so P dissipated is equals to 0 0.2 watts plus 0 0.2 watts plus 0 0.2 watts plus 0 0.2, 0 0.2 watts then plus for the 0 0.1 watts is equals to 0 0.9 watts so for the p source which is equals to i this is equals to 0 0.1 a then times uh, 9 v is equals to 0 0.9 p 9 watts then for the significance are several reasons why we would use multiple resistors instead of just one resistor with a resistance equal to the equivalent resistance of the in lecture for series and parallel circuits problem set number two in example 10.3 on page 444 to 446 so analysis of a parallel circuit three resistors r1 is equals to 1.00 resistors of r2 is equals to 2.00 resistors and r3 is equals to 2.00 resistors are connected in parallel the parallel connection is attached to a v is equals to 3.00 v or voltage source and a what is the equivalent resistance b 
find the current supplied by the source to the parallel circuit. Then the C is calculate the currents in each resistor and show that this and together to equal the current output to the source. Then D, calculate the power dissipated by each resistor. And for the E, find the power output of the source and shown that it equals the total power dissipated by the resistors. So, solution. In the solution of letter A is what is the equivalent resistance? The total resistance for a parallel combination of resistors is found in using equation 10.3 and entering known value, values gives so request equals to 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 to the power of negative 1 is equals to 1 over the value of 1 point the value of r1 is 1.00 resistor plus 1 over the value of R2 is 2.00 resistance then plus 1 over 2.00 to the power of negative 1 is equals to 0 0.50 resistors so the total resistance with the correct number of the significance digits is R equals to 0 0.50 resistors as I predicted is less than the smallest individual resistance so in letter b find the current supplied by the source to the parallel circuit so i is equals to b over r is equals to 3.00 v over 0 0.50 resistors equals to 6.00 a so the total current can be found from Ohm's law, substituting the R equals for the total resistance. So, for the C is the individual current are easily calculated from the Ohm's law, since each resistor gets the full voltage. So, I1 is equals to V over R1 is equals to 3.00V then ang equivalent sa R1 is 1.00 resistor which is equals to 3.00A then for the I2 equals to V over R2 is equals to 3.00V over 2.00 resistor equals to 1.50A then and one I3 is equals to V R3 equals to 6.00 V then over 2.00 resistor is equals to 1.50 A then for the letter D the power dissipated by each resistor can be found using any of the equations so relating power to the current voltage and resistance since all the three are known, let us use P is equals to V squared IR. So since each resistor gets full voltage, then ang PI is equals to V squared of, over R1. And value sa V squared is 3.00 V squared over one point. 0, 0 resistors is equals to 9.00 watts then for the p2 p2 is equals to v2 over r2 then ang voice sa v2 is 3.00 v squared over 2.00 of resistor which is equals to 4.50 watts then for the p3 v2 over R3 is equals to 3.00 V squared over 2.00 resistors is equals to 4.50 watts. 
So, in letter E, the total power can also be calculated in several ways. In choosing P is equal to IV and entering the total current yields. So, P is equal to IV plus 6.00A, which is the equivalent of I. Then, for the V is 3.00V, which is equal to 18.00 watts. So, the total power dissipated by the resistor is also 18.00 watts. So, example 10.6 on page 459 to 461 on lecture 4, Kirchhoff's rule. So, calculating current by using Kirchhoff's rule. Find the current flowing in the circuit in figure 10.29. So, the solution. In applying the junction and loop rules, yields the following three equations. So, we have three, num three unknowns. So, three equations are required of junction C, then I1 plus I2 is equal to I3. In the loop A, B, C, D, E, and F, A, I1 one then ties to the r1 plus r four minus two the i2 then ang r2 plus r5 plus r6 is equals to v1 minus v3 in the loop of cd in efc is i2 which is R2 plus R5 plus the R6. Then, the plus sa 1, 3, and R3 equals to the V2 plus V3. Then, for the simplify the equation of placing the anodes on one side of the equations, the junction of C, which is 1, I1, plus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. Then for the loop of A, B, C, D, E, F, A, I1 and 3 which is the minus I2 of 8 is equal to 0 0.5 V minus 2.30 of V. Then for the loop of C, D, and F, C, I2 times to the 8 plus 1, 3 times 1 is equal to 0 0.6 V plus 2.30 of V. So the equation of placing the anodes on one side of the equation the first loop equation can be simplified by dividing the both sides by 3.00 so the second loop of equation can be simplified by dividing both sides of 6.00 the junction here is C I1 plus I2 minus I3 is equal to 0. So the loop of A, B, C, D, E, F, A equals 1 over 1 and 3 minus 1, 2 is 8 which is equal to negative 1.8 V. Then for the loop of C, D, and E, F, C I2 which is 8 to plus I3 of 1 is equal to 2.9 of V. So the results are of the current flowing in circuit is I1 is equal to 0.20A and for the A I2 is equal to 0.30A. And for the I3 is equals to 0.50A.
So in lecture 4, Kirchhoff's Rule, example 10.7 on page 461 to 467. Calculating current by using Kirchhoff's Rule. Find the current flowing in the current in figure 10.30. So the solution. Um, in applying the junction rule yields the following three equations. We have one unknown, so one equation is required. So in the loop, A, B, C, D, A, then the negative 1, R, 1, minus V, 1, and I, R, 2, plus V, 2, minus 1, R, I, I, R, 3 is equals to 0. Then the simplify the equations by placing the unknowns on one side of the equation. So the values given in the figure I, R, 1, plus R, 2, plus R, 3 is equals to V2 minus of V1. So the I is equals to V2 minus VI over the R1 plus R2 plus RT equals to the value of V2 is 24 V then the value of the V1 minus 12 V over the R1 is 10 Point zero plus ang R2 is 30.0 then ang R3 is 10.0 which is equals to 0.20A